Hi everyone. Um, in my video a couple of days ago where I made my little mini um, junk journal, um, you saw me use uh, my homemade papers with, with sprays and um, household items that I'd found around my home. And many of you have asked if I'll show you um, what I used and, and how I did it. Um, the sprays I used were um, made from food colouring. I've got a variety of, of colours. They're the Sugar Flare um, brand and they're £2.50 for, um, does it say how many mil? 25 grams um, and you can see how little I, I've used. I used the um, end of a teaspoon just to um, put a scoop into one of these mini spray bottles. I'll leave a link to where I purchased these from. I got mine from eBay and I checked the other day and the current price is £2.11 pence for 10 including postage. They come from Hong Kong. I've never had any problems with um, spraying issues with these. These are 30 ml bottles and so you just add a scoop of the food colour and then top it up with warm water and my suggestion would be to sort of add a third of, of water give it a good shake let um, the food coloring disperse spray it and and just check for um, how, how vibrant you want it to be you can sort of add more water um, if you want to um, or more food coloring depending on how bright you you want it so that was um, really easy and then this here was just made with a variety of stuff from around my home um, this is I think it's sort of like a pizza um, thing with the holes in just so that you you, you get a, a crusty base on on your pizza this was a pound from um, the pound shop um, again a splatter guard that was a pound from um, the pound shop and then I've got various other things this was a piece of cardboard I've got several of these this came from um, the scrap store this is a piece of needleworking um, canvas, you know, the little squares. Um, I've got this which I used, which Angie Green sent me in Happy Mail. A pack of um, stencils from the pound shop. I got a pack of five in varying different um, sizes. Um, I also use, use these, which are just the edge of a spiral bound notepad. Um, some of that um, non-stick rug stuff to stop your rug slipping um, all over the place. Punchinella. Um, this came in a pack. I forgot I had this. Um, I've got a feeling this was from the works in a pack of six. It, they're, they're just coasters, so that would make a brilliant stencil. Um, Steve brought um, this home for, for me from the office. It was wrapped around um, chair leg. Um, I think he brought um, brought four, four home. Um, these are cake decorating stencils. These were on clearance in Home Sense, so to a, to a pound each. This is um, a stencil that Mika made me. Um, she sent me this in Happy Mail, and this is just cut from a plastic um, wallet. This is from one of my sandals. I've got a pair of Jack Rogers um, sandals and this is quite thick, this piece of leather, and it was really hurting my feet. So I peeled it off and kept it. That was when I was on holiday in Spain and thought, oh, that, that'll make a good stencil. So you can see, let me bring back the piece of paper. You can see where I've just used that um, as a mask. It was more evident in the um, other piece that um, I cut up to, to use for, for the journey. Finally, as well, I've dug out um, some of these. Bear with me. Let's move those out of the way. Um, I've dug out um, some of these. These are um, stencils that I've made um, from, from hot glue. It was an idea that I got from Tra Tracy Bautista, um, I do believe. Um, so I've made a variety of these. Let me just show you some of the, the shapes. Um, hearts, little swirlies. And all you do is just put your glue, drizzle your glue onto a non-stick craft mat like this. And, um, and hey presto, you've got um, wonderful stencils. Um, so let me have a clear up and then we'll, we'll have a play. Right, okay, so I'm just working on A3 um, copier paper. And so I'm just gonna have a, a spray and see what we um, end up with. This is Ruby. And then I'm going to um, tap that off. I am going to end up in an almighty mess here. My fingers are going to be covered in food colouring and it'll probably take me a couple of days before I can get rid of um, the mess, but hey ho. So I'm just tapping this off. Let's have a look. And then we'll have some of the fuchsia, I think as well. So.
And again, try not to think about it, just really random. No right or wrong. Let's bring in my, um, let's have a look, we'll have some, in fact, I think I'm going to go for the grape violet. And we'll have some of that over, over here. There we go. I want my owl, so I'm going to see if I can spray my owl in some. In fact, I think I'll use the bitter, bitter lemon for that. And again, we can try dabbing him off, see what happens see what happens there oh that's worked am I still in camera just about let's move that over a bit and then I think I quite like um, some more owl so we'll stamp that down in a in a few places there we go I think that will do for that Let's have some of these um, swirlies and see see what happens. Let's have some spruce green. I'm gonna have some more of more of these. There we go. We'll so just really playing here. And I think I'm going to leave that piece um, as it is and start um, a new page. So let me just put that one down to, to dry and we'll grab another piece of paper. I don't want it so busy that um, it ends up looking looking a mess. So let's have some, let's grab some hearts and things. Let's, I really like that heart. So I'm going to bring that, that one down again. We can have some swirlies. Let's have a look and maybe one of the, maybe the splatter. Um, so let's go in with some daffodil this time. And again, we can turn them over. Use up what we have. Let's have some more of that down here. I've just smudged that, but it's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. And then we can um, bring on, let's do, use some Punchinella. Let's have a look, Royal Blue. We can squirt that in a few places. I'm gonna have some more down here. And again, I can turn that over, stump stump off. Let's have some of this in the bitter lemon. Overlapping some of the patterns because I like that, that look. There we are, so I'm liking, liking that. Um, what else shall we use? We can use some of this in the in the deep purple. Let's just layer some of these blocky patterns. See, I love that. And then we'll flip it over and we'll see what we end up with there. Really giving it a good old um, stamp. Let's um, stamp this one off as well. You see, I love this. What else have we got? Let's have some um, of the big letters. Now remember, um, no, in fact, what am I talking about? It's only on the jelly plate, but if you get them round the, the other way. Right, so I am using fuchsia for, for this one. So let's 
spray some letters on. Liking that, and we can tip that upside down as well. And right, so that one's a real graffiti type page, isn't it? And then we can have a few of these smaller dots if we if we want to. So let's choose some of the deep purple for that. And again, I can stamp that off in a few places if I if I want to. Well, I kept playing and um, I've got a few pages here that I've created um, now. They're slightly smaller because I've cut a strip off and I'll show you what they look like in smaller pieces in a second. Um, I splashed some water over, over this as well. I just wanted to see whether they reacted um, to water and they do, not quite um, in the same way as dilutions. I tried spraying water through a stencil and you couldn't really see anything. But if you splatter, just um, put some water in your hand and then splatter it on um, you can actually see some water effects um, so that's the second one um, I did and I've got some water on that one um, too that's another one um, I created there we go so I've just kept kept going so those are my um, pages and then I cut some strips off these are five inch um, strips and I just wanted to show you what they look like in smaller pieces because I think you get a better ideal they look you know rather busy and a bit of a mess when you see it sort of in one full page but when they're cut down into smaller pieces um, you can see what fun um, they are um, and then I've mounted some onto some black cereal box. I cut out some um, cereal box strips and I've painted the front and the back um, with um, black paint. And then I've cut um, some of the, the pieces of paper just shy um, so that you've got a black border around the edge. I've inked around the edges too, just um, because it looks neater when you actually glue it um, to the cereal box. And here we go. So let me just move those out of the way and you can see what they look like in smaller, smaller pieces. And hang on, I've got another one here somewhere. Um, so there we go. So, you know, I did to small journal pages. You can see how pretty and effective um, these are. So I hope you liked that. And I hope you gave, that gave you some ideas of um, how you can create these kind of stencil pages with stuff that you've already got and make your own homemade sprays. Of course, if you haven't got food colouring, um, you can water down acrylic paint um, in, in the same way or um, any of your inks that, that you've got. Um, I might do another, another video as well because I've got another idea for um, some um, homemade sprays uh, as well. But if you like that, please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the, in the comments below. And of course, if you don't like the mess on your fingers like mine are, um, you can always wear some surgical gloves. Anyway, take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.